Taurus, how are you guys doing? It is me, Mystic Beauty, and I'm here to do your general reading, energy update, love update, right? Whatever you're here for, I got it. So let's pull some messages and let's see. I want to use some different cards this time. I've been using the same cards. Hold on, you guys. Of course, you're my Okay. Yeah, let's use these. Let's try to shake this energy up a little bit, right? Okay, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my Taurians? What messages do you have for Taurians? messages you have for Taurus believe in magic so a lot of you guys have been in the energy of lo losing faith losing hope love flows through through you into you could be a situation with a loved one or just um, a situation con pertaining to the heart expect wonders to emerge take action with passion so, a lot of you guys could have, either you or your person, take it how it resonate, right? You know your story. Somebody didn't act with passion. You could have been in a situation where the passion left, but somebody just, they didn't act with passion, you know? And there could have been a split. There could have been a split. Now, the other party is waiting. Somebody's waiting for the other person to return. It's like they're losing faith because believe in magic is here. Also, this could be with like finances and career and stuff as well. You could be in a situation where your money isn't looking so good and you're wanting this new job, you're needing this new beginning and it seems like it's taking a long time to come um, into you, right? They're saying that miracles can happen, right? And this is definitely a voyage of the heart. So I know that this situation is pertaining to the heart. Journey by Moonlight is letting me know that right now it's dark. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where things are headed. But all you have is the moonlight. And the moon is very powerful. So you may need to recharge yourself. You may need to heal. You may need to view things from a different perspective. Um, this could be you or the person you're dealing with. Someone only saw things, only saw things their way. Navigating by the stars. So this, this again is talking about um only having like you you're you're only how can i say this it's dark this is darkness so you could be in a dark space right now you only have the stars to guide you so to me the stars represent your ancestors so you are being guided by like passed on loved ones you know i just heard feminine energy as well that's trying to guide you back on this path you're, they're trying to guide you to self-discovery, self-love. Honestly, this really has, like, it has something to do with the relationship, but the relationship ending was a catalyst to make you love yourself. It was a catalyst to make you believe in yourself. It was a catalyst for change. If there was something that needed to change, if it was like shadow work that needed to be done, like this shit was a catalyst. I had someone ask me what is shadow work shadow work is the parts of yourself that's that needs to grow that needs to heal that's stopping you from being the highest version of yourself right that's parts of yourself that needs fixing that's that's blocking you from growth so a lot of you guys could have went through a breakup and you're only seeing the bad thing like the bad side of this breakup but in actuality this breakup was a catalyst to your self growth your self discovery you being the highest and better best version of yourself that you can be so it's not all bad so let's pull um some tarot and see what is going on what could be like the possible outcome of this situation your person's headspace what are they thinking right now you know what is their next move let's see I'm hot as fuck in this sweater. I really should just take it off and lay it on. Feel like. <laughs> oh, guarded. 
whoever you're dealing with is guarded or this could be you guarded somebody is extremely guarded right now there could have been some bad words said a lot of finger pointing either from you or your person somebody points fingers a lot look at this look at all these wands pointed towards this girl like somebody is guarded as hell somebody feel like their back is against the wall somebody feel like they're being um double teamed right like it's all these fingers on them what else King of Pentacles. <sighs> you guys could be in a position of trying to focus on something stable. I was going to say money, but I feel like this is like relationship. Pointing towards a relationship. You're wanting something more stable. In the past, I feel like it wasn't stable. You're just like you're wanting stability. You or your person is wanting a new beginning. Page of Wands is letting me know that somebody was immature. Somebody was acting immaturely and this is this could be how you guys ended up in this situation right finger pointing and it being immature the world so like some type of cycle closed out between you and this person king of wands so i it's in reverse so you or your partner lost passion like all the passion pretty much was depleted from this relationship from this connection the devil yep somebody was acting acting um in their lower frequency somebody had had not grown spiritually somebody was easily controlled by negative entities easily someone was very manipulative very very manipulative only doing what they had to do to get what they want for the time being very this honestly i'm, I'm really picking up on narciss narcissistic behavior for real for real Someone who, you know, this person just, they lack emotion. They just lack, they don't know what it means to, like, truly be genuinely, like, sorry. Um, this person was just for themselves. Give me another card. What's going on? There also could have been, like, a negative entity that came in between your relationship with this person as well. Queen of Wands, some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like Queen of Wands energy. I mean, this is fire sign energy. Yeah, there could have been juggling. Yeah, you could have found out someone was juggling you and another person. Or whether or not they wanted to be with you and someone else. Um, You decided, you know, that you were going to work on yourself, work on your growth, work on your stability. Some of you guys are deciding to be more creative or needing to be more creative. So, Spirit, give me... Yeah. Somebody was not listening to them. I'm telling you. Somebody was not listening to their intuition about this connection at all. Not listening to their intuition at all. Somebody's actually very cut off from their intuition vibrating extremely low spiritually give me some messages how is this person feeling yeah so i honestly feel like you guys either you this was your energy or the person you were dealing with their energy like somebody was just real manipulative they was like throw the rock hide their hand right Someone feels like the other person drained them or depleted them energetically. That could have been juggling on your behalf or your person's behalf. Yeah. What else? What's like this person's true feelings though? Paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, oneness, enjoying each other. So this person, they do, they enjoy being around you. They really do. They get a sense of calmness around you. Palm trees. Some of y'all going on a vacation. Or the person you're dealing with is going on a vacation. Some of you got some of y'all enjoy being around water. Water make you calm. Because palm trees and paradise is here. Stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. So you this person is big on stability. Whoever y'all dealing with, they're they're very big on just being stable and they need security. Or this could be your energy. 
hand of cards, but somebody is not letting you know exactly what's going on. They're keeping their cards to their chest. They're not showing their hand. They're, they're just not. But I feel like you already know this though. Yeah. Well, if you do, I hope you know, you know, shit, that this definitely is a game of chess and not checkers, okay? All right, I love each and every one of you guys. I hope you know that you found some meaning, some messages in this reading. If this resonated with you, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have more questions, two for 20 is tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. That's two questions for $20. I want to thank all of you guys. We are um, over 60 3k now y'all will be at 100k before we even know it y'all the family is growing right i love y'all y'all stay awesome stay true to yourself 